Which features of the barn are most critical to cow longevity? Uh, well, you know, I'd say floor surface has got to be right up towards the top. Uh, stall comfort, and that includes the surface of the stall, the uh, adequate dimension of the stall, and uh, probably cow cooling, uh, ventilation, and additionally lighting. So they would be the top ones in my mind. É, os pontos que a gente deve se atentar dentro de um freestal para que essa vaca vive mais, no meu ponto de vista, principalmente está ligado a má condições de cama, má condições de reposição dessa cama, ou de areia, ou de feno, etc. Uma cama de má qualidade, seja ela de qualquer coisa que possa machucar a vaca, que não seja orgânica, é, pode estar ligado a piso, um piso mal feito, um piso com buraco, um piso sem friso. É, e principalmente hoje a gente fala de ambiência dentro de um barracão, onde principalmente está ligado a estresse térmicos. E uma coisa que para mim é, é, é importantíssimo em superlotação de vaca. Um barracão superlotado, as vacas viverão muito menos e produzirão muito menos. A gente tem que se atentar a, principalmente a esses pontos. I think what is important for the walking and standing area is that there's enough space for the cows uh, to move freely. Uh, so you should have uh, uh, four meters uh, uh, in the feeding area and uh, you should have enough places for uh, eating, uh, especially for the heifers. Our feeding and drinking facilities we've learned over the years that we, we need to have more area for the cows to drink, more access uh, so that they can drink, uh, more animals can drink at one time if they feel like, and also the feeding area so that more animals, they're, because they're such a social animal, so that more of them can eat at one time if they feel like, allowing for more bunk space. Basically, you, you need a cushion. Uh, big cows are heavy. Uh, if you're seeing hock abrasions on your cows, you do not have a adequate cow comfort. Uh, also, lunge area is pretty important, and uh, having a big enough stall so that the cow can actually uh, lay in the stall comfortably is pretty, really important. A minha opinião sobre área de descanso é imaginando que uma vaca tem que ficar em pé de 14 a 17 horas é, é muito importante a vaca ficar por mais tempo deitado possível, sabendo que a vaca deitada passa mais sangue na glândula mamária do que uma vaca em pé. Isso está ligado, restritamente, muito ligado à produção de leite. Quanto mais conforto, mais leite. To me, barn climbing has been huge, especially since we built our new barn in, in 2008. Having more mechanical control over, over the environment, we're able to control both cold and heat and, and not have the extremes on the cows that, that we would have in, in a standard or, or an outside type facility. As an example for, for environmental control, uh, the very first winter we were in our new barn with, with cross ventilation uh, was 32 deg degrees below zero at my house. I checked the monitors in the barn that morning, it was 28 above zero Fahrenheit, which allows for animals to, be, to keep that energy towards production rather than trying to stay warm and maintain their body heat. Um, also employees are a whole lot more comfortable. Uh, on a heat stress side, that's, that same barn, we're able to keep the, the uh, inside air five to maybe even almost 10 degrees cooler because of the airflow and the fogging that we provide to, to create somewhat of an air conditioned atmosphere.